Tonight on the Sunday Drive, we're taking you to the beautiful town of Bathurst in the Central West, nestled at the bottom of the Blue Mountains in New South Wales. We're taking a look at the incredible attractions surrounding the town, including the historic Abercrombie House, the famous Mount Panorama Racetrack, and the incredible Bathurst Museum. Today we have ventured out to the Abercrombie House, which is 10 kilometres out of Bathurst. It was built by the Stewart family, which were Bathurst pioneers. It is now owned by the Morgan family, who spent over 50 years restoring this beautiful Scottish estate. It has over 50 rooms. Let's go and explore each and every one of them. Abercrombie House is here because uh, years ago a pioneering family came to Bathurst and they were Scottish and they brought with them the heritage of their country. This family were called the Stuarts and the first of them was the Lieutenant Governor of New South Wales who was Major General William Stuart and he was given a 3,000 acre land grant at Bathurst. So Abercrombie House was built over an eight year period from 1870 to 1878 and the Stuart family moved in and lived here for many years. When the Morgan family came into possession of the Abercrombie House, it was left completely bare. As you can see, they've spent over 50 years with their blood, sweat and tears rebuilding it to what it is today. During the Second World War, the Women's Land Army girls were in Bathurst as part of the war effort and this was assigned to them as their billet by the government and so they lived in here for three summers. There is one particular garden at the grounds of Abercrombie House that has a very interesting history. The formal garden was created in the 1870s within the turning circle for horse-drawn carriages at the front porch. The garden's purpose was pretty much to provide fresh blooms to pick and display throughout the house, so essentially Abercrombie House had its own florist. In 2001, the garden was dedicated as a living memorial of the members of the Australian Women's Land Army. Walking throughout the house, you really get a feel of how much history is really buried within. We do all sorts of things now. We have dinners in our ballroom, concerts in the garden. This summer we're doing Shakespeare in the garden. We're doing a Midsummer Night's Dream one weekend in November with some Bathurst performers. Just think, back in the day when this house was in its prime, there was hundreds of girls and boys dancing away in this beautiful ballroom. All roads upon the grounds of the Abercrombie House were originally built for the horse and carriage as they take long sweeping bends to make their way down to the stables. Behind me are the old stables that used to house the horses that pulled the carriages full of visitors that wanted to come and stay at the Abercrombie House. However, Chris and his family have spent many years refurbishing the stables behind me to turn them into accommodation for anyone who wants to come and stay. And to my left over here, Chris and his family are turning this building into a little chapel for anyone who wants to spend their special day at Abercrombie House. If a magical experience is what you're looking for, then the Abercrombie House is the place for you. I've spent hours walking around the grounds and I've seen amazing sights that you will not be able to see anywhere else. There was a very famous local story that General Stewart was buried standing up in his grave so that he could look down on his fields for all time. Before James Stewart passed away, he requested to be buried in the orchard of the Abercrombie House as it's where he spent most of his days. This is his memorial. Coming to the Abercrombie House during the day is absolutely amazing, but if you want to get the full historical experience, you have to come and experience it under the moonlight. And tonight is a full moon. The grave of Professor James Stewart leads to a ghost story, because when I was a boy, one night, we arrived here very, very late on Friday night, and we'd been in Sydney. We heard something, we looked down this way, and we saw somebody standing here. And it was a gloomy night, but there was a full moon and there was a person standing just down here. And in the morning, we came down here and that's the first time I ever saw this grave. So I wondered whether I'd seen a ghost down here. I'm saying goodbye to the Sunday drive for now. Hopefully you enjoyed everything I had to show you today in the Abercrombie house. I'm going to stay here now and see if the ghost stories are actually true. Hopefully I'll see you next week. Good night. <laughs>